Hey, I'm Hog, and this video is about how to add your own enchantments to Hog's enchants. So, here if you see we have the Hog chanting table, and if I interact with the sword, then there are six enchants that show up. Now these six enchants are cool and all, but what if you could add more from your own add-ons? And that's exactly what I've made happen. If you're not much of an add-on maker, this video might not be the one for you, but you may as well watch it anyway. And now, if I leave the game, and go over to behavior packs, there is this e enchantment example add-on that if I put onto the world as active and play, now smashing is at the top, meaning there's a total of seven enchantments. And I'm going to show you how this works and how you can add your own enchantments yourself. So I forgot to mention while recording, but if you want to download the add-on or find the example pack or anything, the links will be in the description and also subscribe. Over here in the code you can see we have this custom hogs enchant example. Now this adds that smashing enchantment as I showed previously. First off if you were to make your own you'd want to copy enchantment.js into your scripts folder. That will look like this when you open it up. Now there's a lot of comments and a lot of code going on but you don't really have to worry about this too much and just understand a few of the functions here. The main one you need to know about is register enchant. This will take an ID, a name, a max level, and a slot. The ID is what's used to just determine what it is for the code. And then the name is the display name, so the name that the users will see. So that will have capital letters, and the ID shouldn't have any spaces or capital letters or anything. It should just be as if it's a regular item you're making or something like that. Max level is the max level that the enchantment can be through the hog chanting table, and slot is the slot it goes on. Now, paired up with slot is down here we have this constant called slots. Um, this dictionary holds um, all the different slots that you can enchant in the enchantment table, kind of. Now, if you were to put, uh, to put these on an item, that's what it, this is here, so this will be detected by my code. But here you just need to do slot, dot, and then whatever one you want it to be for it to work in your case. And now after you've got the slot and all these filled in, you will it will return a enchantment uh, class to you. Now this is up here, and you don't have to worry about this too much apart from this get item function. This get item function will um, basically just check if the enchantment is on the item and return the valid as true and the level of the item. If not valid will be false and the level will be zero. Now if we go over to what I've called smashing.js, this is the enchantment here. Uh, I've got this linked to main.js importing nothing. Now over here we have register enchant and slots importing from enchantment.js and you also need to import minecraft as per usual. Now down here you will need to make a temporary, not even temporary, you just need to make a variable storing this. It can be called ench, it can be called anything. Um, in this case I called ench, and then I run the function register enchant, which um, you put in the ID smashing, then smashing with a capital S, which is what the user sees, the max level being 3 and it going on the sword. If you wanted to add multiple like the sword and shovel, you don't want to make it in square brackets and then slots.shovel as well for instance and that would be for both but in this case we just want it for the sword now in my case I have the hit um, thing running for it so the yeah, entity hit entity so when an entity gets hit um, it will see if the enchantment is on the item and then run the code so here I've got if the attacker is a player it will check if the item in the main hand, which gone through these two lines of code here, you can copy completely, I do not mind. Uh, then it will check if the item is real, uh, doing if exclamation mark item return. This basically means if the item is air in the slot, or yeah, if the item is air in the slot, then it will just return and make sure that the code stops, stopping any errors that might occur later on for the next bit, which is applying ench.getItem, which I showed earlier, onto valid and level. Basically, if you didn't do this line here, this would cause an error, possibly breaking the code. Um, so make sure that it's there. 
then we check if this valid variable here after edge.getItem, item this edge comes from the variable we made earlier which is registering the enchantment and this is if it's valid then it runs the code which makes the enchantment possible in this case i've got it so it just keeps the normal knockback of the player and adds on quite a bit to the um yeah to the level by 0.4% or not 0.4%, 0.4, and then add 0.3, which just gives it some height when it hits the mob. Now I've got this smashing enchantment, and if I hit the zombie, for instance, you'll see I get launched up, just like the mace enchantment.